we're going to mount a UUT, unit under test or device under test, in the bottom of this frame compression. For this video, we have mounted our reference standard, which is another video. We're gonna show how to properly mount a DUT or UUT. The first thing we're gonna do is we, of course, Morehouse, we sell all of these adapters. We have this compression plate, slides right in on the lower yoke, fits right in, has a hole for centering. For our load cell, we have two options. Now, if you're wanting to perform a cal in, a, in accordance with ISO 376, we make these CI adapters here, real simple. They go on the load cell. That would be a, more of a compression setup. If you're looking at it, it would look like this. Compression setup. Compression setup with the load cell. That's the CI, and you just put that in the machine. And we also have another ball adapter that is preferable if, depending on what the customer, your end user, talk to them about contract review, how they're loading it. Hopefully they send their top adapter in, which is just as simple as sticking the load cell in the machine. However, there is one caveat. We do put in an alignment plug. This makes life a lot easier to center the load cell. That bottom piece that we just put in the lower, lower yoke, we screw this the whole way in. None of it should be sticking out. It's just a little, little bit of a tip here. Slides right in, right in there for centering. Here we go. If, like I said, we can use either adapter. Uh, preferably, the customer has sent their top adapter. If not, you can use a ball or you can use the ISO adapter. For this, we'll use the ISO adapter because that probably replicates better what the customer is using. Set up, put this in, we run the yoke up. And this is where, this is the only trick to any of this, is we run that yoke up to until we just have the slightest bit of clearance, just the littlest bit of daylight. Because after we have this set up, our hydraulic power control, preferably because that makes it easier to control the force, or the hand pump can be used. And when we start pumping the jack, we're gonna put fluid into this, the, the hydraulic fluid is gonna raise the ram up and this is always going to be moving in this direction. This machine, the UCM, is a machine that the reference standard always stays in compression and then the DUT can be calibrated in tension or compression and this lower yoke when we get everything situated is always going up because the stroke of this ram is to the point where it's going up. So, we get that. You probably can't see it in the video. Maybe you can, we can probably maybe zoom in on it. And we get that, we make sure everything's centered and aligned. And if you could see that, just that little, little bit of daylight is important because when you start putting fluid into the hydraulic jack, if you have too much daylight here, this only has an inch of movement and going beyond that could, could cause some damage. So therefore, we get it here. The actual deflection is really, really low. We're not gonna extend that jack by more than a quarter of an inch in this case scenario. And that's what you have. There, there you have a how you mount a load cell in compression in the Morehouse 100K UCM.